your three AI Nanas are going to do on stage <laughs> between C4 and two grenades. And he understands that. He understands that very well. And, and the other thing that grounds him when it comes to that mentality is, is that it's all about the process, right? Like, it's so easy to get caught up in like, oh, I got 25th, oh, I got 17th. Look at the number instead of like taking and learning the actual things that are happening on the screen, taking note of those and then applying them to the rest of your gameplay rather than the actual just number of the result. That is a common trap a lot of Smash players fall into. But here we go. It is small battlefield between these two characters. And Deathspade was saying this is a miserable matchup. It's like the grenades just cover everything that you'd want to do because you, Bayonet has so many lingering hitboxes and they're just going to hit a grenade. Well, we will see how Deathspade um, continues this run slash adapts to what Apollo Kage is going to throw at Deathspade. Obviously with a character like Snake where you have so many different possible interactions, there's a lot you're not going to see in a three-game set. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot more with every passing game, different things that Snake is capable of. But we have seen Apollo Kage going for very specific things today. Uh, a lot of them are like grenade into up air. He's gone for quite a lot. Oh, letting it rip on the forward smash even after the witch time ended. That uh, still is a two count for AK, man. That is, Snake is so heavy. And these grenades covering so well. Stopping all offense in his tracks, and you got to stick for your trouble. It is on Snake now, and it might, who knows where it's going to end up after a Bayo combo. A gun well, finish? Yeah, you're just going to die, and then it won't matter where it ends up, because, yeah, the gun finish. Very cool. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's on the, the side platform in Small Battle. We can see it glowing there. But it disappeared in just an instant as uh, a Snake decided to ignite it and then send it an Nikita straight into Bayonetta's dome. No tricks, no chicanery with it. Just here's a missile, point it at the opponent directly in their face. Hello? Going for the F-Smash. Uh, we've seen that RPG end at least one set today. <laughs> I, I love leaving the grenade there to cover, too. It's just, I have the ability to go for these reads because I can save myself. But the forward air in the skies means Death Spade is not out yet. Yeah, we, I talked about this a bit earlier, but the Death Spade and Apollo Kage games are pretty much always close. It's just I think it's the nature of the way that their characters function. It's really difficult for Snake to really get things going with the grenade like you would want to as a Snake player because Bayo can kind of combo you away from the grenades and a lot of the combos are true, so you don't have that one frame to pull the grenade mm. to get out of them. But at the same time, you're, you can just die to a snake and that there are frequent times where that will likely happen. And that is not one of the times where you died to snake. That is unfortunately one of the times where you die to your own mystic. Yep, don't give a free game to Apollo Kage. Pretty solid advice it turns out, but you know, like, before that SD, it was pretty competitive the whole way. You, you see exactly what I'm saying. Like, the damage output from both of them is just kind of ridiculous. And that's been playing around the grenades as much as they can. We are still at that point where Apollo Kage has not yet dropped a game since going to Losers. That has yet to change after game one of Losers Finals. AK will take a 1-0 to zero lead to see if Deathspade can maintain the momentum and bring this set back, or is AK just going to make Hello? this run over with the RPG? Hard reads the roll in, takes the stock at, I think, pre-hit 50%. 50, like, 7, I think was the number. One of the strongest F smashes in the game, because, sure, you can have that, too. <laughs> and he didn't even have a grenade covering that. He just wanted nah, to let that, it rip. That was and just he a let hard it rip. Read. Okay, which time got interrupted by grenade? So Snake slowly flew out of reach in an an like an antagonizing way. That's so funny. It looked hysterical. Snake at 181. Oh no, unable to con convert there. That is the kind of mistake that Deathspade cannot be making in these situations. It, is he dead? I couldn't tell if he died. He was at 200% and just slowly in the magnifying glass. Now we have up smash, C4, up smash again, finally going to die at 200. Deathspade had to pull out every trick to take that yeah, stop. What, what a crazy, crazy stop. Deathspade was flying all over the place, going for just shenanigans. One of them eventually did work. 
I like that AK went for down throw up tilt anyway, because if the opponent isn't quite ready to pull an option, sometimes that'll just work at 100. Mm -hmm. And he really hasn't mixed that into a lot of the gameplay today. So it's good to see it just once. You probably won't see it again. Yeah, and now he's, he's taking, he's changing the tempo up so much. We saw like a bunch of up tilts in a row. And then he goes for a bunch of grenades, and he goes for a bunch of grabs, and he goes for a bunch of grenades again. Just really needs to mix up this tempo versus Bayo. Make it really hard for her to choose a good moment to approach, but also apply that offense. Back air on land is going to connect. This felt like a much larger lead for Apollo Kage because of how long it took Death Spade to take the first stock, but this is a fairly close game. You're one conversion away from it being dead even. Trying to cover with the C4 on a grab attempt, but that's it. Again, weaving around the grenades so well. Only taking just a little bit of damage here. That one, you probably would want to take back. Goes for the RPG again. Might as well put the fear into your opponent wherever possible. That's Bay trying to approach with both dive kicks and um, upward side Bs. Did I just call those witch twists? Yeah, witch twists. <laughs> All right, there, there's the grenade up air that I spoke of a little bit earlier as well. We've seen a lot of those from Paulo Kage today as he takes another game, making it 2-0, making this loser side fairly quick. Yeah, n n yet to lose a game, it still holds. AK, a force in this Polar Pummel loser bracket. I miss K rule. <laughs> the K rule one run was so that, cool. That was a good time when K rule wasn't winners. Big Copel fan. I think Cole made a lot of fans here at this venue today, if I had to guess. But let's see if Death Spade can return the serve on game number three, sticking to small battlefield. Tossing up grenade to himself and then throwing it to get that first little bit of damage. AK just got some really cool stuff that he does do with this character. Yeah, he, he's so smart with Snake. And trying to cover any of those after turn kicks onto the stage if they went a little too low and hit the grenade. That's why he was sending them so far back under the platform. Hello. Okay. Oh, no, he's going to die for that. Oh, nice STI to get out of it. Has to go for... Oh! That's this big almost landed the craziest confirm. I mean, it's still going. This disadvantage state has been for, like, 25 seconds. Yeah. Apollo Kage recognizing, like, I should probably throw an up tilt here. I've got max rage of my opponents around 100. Dash attack not quite going to do it, but it is a guaranteed punish. Yeah, you just take the guarantee at that moment. That's like the, the best burst movement option for Snake in that spot. Oh, careful of the weaving little Nikita missile. Now both characters with max rage. First big hit is going to do it. Death Spade getting the Witch Time F Smash to take that first stock. And spacing that F-Smash perfectly so that the grenade that was in Snake's hand didn't like clash and hit Bayonetta, right? That's that's how you need to space that. C4 going to even the playing field here in this game three. Death Spade looking all really strong at the moment, uh, this particular game. Is that, I, I, he did like C4 into Nikita Missile? That looked so goofy. That is a what was he cooking moment I have to feel like. This I'm, I'm like guessing goofy. he wanted a second grenade and not Nikita, but he moved yeah. just a little. Or, like, was looking for an afterburner kick up high or something? I don't even know. Ooh, Death Spade goes, for, going for it all. Think, going to die. Can Snake make it back off the Cypher? No. No, C4 was up on the stage. AK, that will just be a trade in stocks. So now we're going to go last stock. Death Spade putting themselves in the best possible position to take the game. A last, last stock situation is usually better if you're considered the underdog. I think. We'll have to see how it shapes up here. Getting the combo going. Oh, it just sent the snake over to the side. All right, afterburner kick. It's a little bit of a combo, not quite connecting. Hollow Kage really let these F smashes rip this, well, tournament. Most of them, he's had grenades covering. The one that, the only one that hit was the one that was just a read. And oh, the homie. Oh, the homie almost took it. That was so close. Okay. Death Spade going to get on the board. Apollo Kage dropping a game in losers for the first time after C4 almost just decided, no, no, you're done here today. <laughs> it did its best. That's some great composure from Death Spade after that kill, like 
the kill screen. And then that one definitely was not Apollo Kage detonating. He did not say there. That was just the homie explode and be like, you know, I bet your buddy's standing right here right now. Maybe I can steal this game for you. But instead, Destiny turned it around. There's a good chance if I was in that situation, I would have already thrown my controller. So. <laughs> 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 oh, Solid I'm, Snake, you are a character in this game. I'm not unfamiliar with that concept. But let's go to game four. That spade on the board, needs a reverse 3-0 to stay alive and get a run back versus Ned. All right, 60% out of the gate here for Apollo Kage with a number of grenade setups. Nothing too right. fancy, just a lot of damage real fast. Just taking away all the approach angles. As long as you're under that platform with a grenade in your hands, that there's no way that any of these Dive kicks, afterburner kicks are going to find a safe way in that doesn't trade. Ooh. Which times the grenade explosion? Love that idea. That, that was worth a couple of stocks in, in game, or at least one stock in game number one. Or sorry, the one that Death Spade won. Death Spade goes for afterburner kick, regrets it immediately. Apollo Kage going to get the up tilt conversion there. Oh, oh, so much zero damage. 70. <laughs> it's so much damage. And now just playing the spacing game. Getting that C4 down, and where are you running? To the sky. Yeah, two stocks in roughly a minute. Might be curtains this time. For two players that always play each other so close, Death Spade is going to have to play the game of their life from this point forward. Okay, uh, just getting a frame trap in with that witch time on the grenade, because the shield was already applied. So it's just like, I, I can force a grab attempt. Witch time, good start. <laughs> okay, good idea, but didn't quite work out the way they were probably hoping. We'll get the next witch time into back air. There could be a lot of game left here for Death Spade. Let's see. Yeah, one of two things. We either got a lot of game left or very little for this set. <laughs> and they're, they're, I don't think there's an in-between. I like the parry attempt there from Apollo Kage, but... Safely applying that Witch Twist pressure instead here at Death Spade. And, and taking away under the platform right now. This is actually really good for Death Spade. Because these combos are just sending Snake away. But that jab could be very important here for AK's chances of winning this game. Because he can now reset up his camp. Yeah, AK really has just said, I'm going to grab grenade and shield. I do not care. Read the roll, get the up tilt, and that will do it. Apollo Kage gets the run back on Death Spade and wins three games to one. Advancing to Grand Finals for a showdown against Ned. And this might be 